everyone watching from across the continent of Africa and the world. My name is Yvonne Vixen Ekwere and today is absolutely a special day. A day that the entire industry has been anticipating. And it's the world premiere of the Sur Larry movie brought to you by the Audrey Silva Company. Now, two heavyweights have come together in the person of Rita Dominic and Mildred Okwo to bring to you something that has never been seen before in Nollywood. So, if I were you, I would stick around because the red carpet is about to dazzle in a way you've never seen before. Alright, so I promised you some extra special personalities on the red carpet. Not only is she an Hollywood icon, she is a dazzling beauty from Cross River State. Look at her tonight. Kate Henshaw, how are you? I'm great. I know you look great. Now tell me about the entire Afro chic look that you have going on. African glam. This is how I was born with my natural hair, not any weave. So this is my hair and this is African. And of course, this is from Cross River State beaded bags, this is what we carry when it's a very special day, a wedding, traditional event, so I'm African glam. Who made this piece, because I like From um, Boomy Boomy, you can find her on Instagram, she's a lovely, gorgeous lady, yeah, she'll kit you out, don't worry, I know what you like. You don't have plenty money, you know, only big stars like you. <laughs> think about the story because it's it's unlike any other story that we've seen in Nollywood it's different I I haven't watched it I'm looking forward to it. it's a rom-com I'm a rom-com girl we all believe in love uh, so hey I'm, I'm expectant the is looking absolutely royal I should say now tell me about this look I'm loving it it was uh, an idea that came to mind and I put it together myself I can't, I, I can't stop gushing now I know that you're from the eastern part of Nigeria but I've not seen this fabric worn this way. So how long did it take you to think this through? No, I, uh, it didn't take me long. I like to do things the way I think it, hoping that uh, so long as I'm comfortable with it, it'll come out good. And I, I, uh, I kind of learned the basic rule in fashion, understand the rules before you break them. So kind of like, I know the rules about this, but I decided to break it and... It's working. Now tell me about this stuff. Is this a, what, what do you call it in, in Igbo? Um, para. Thing. My character happens to be this delusional, very ebotic guy. So I thought, look, uh, how best to uh, interpret this guy with uh, some glamour, like the theme uh, says, African glam. I thought, hey, some ceremonial God's time. His name is God's time. You should see him today. It's Kiki. I'm doing the Kiki dance. I'm doing the Kiki dance. There's Woo. a Kiki dance. Woo! There's a Kiki dance. Okay, this is how silly I get every time I see Kiki because she's such a goofball. It's wonderful That's to have true Vic. You are, and I love it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's so wonderful to have you here. I love the outfit, the hair. Thank you, so thank you African glam things. You know, yeah. Tell me what your thoughts are on the Audrey Silver Company because first it was the meeting, now this one. I think they're just very well put together. I think they think every single move that they make, they think it through. And they always just come up with exciting things and they think outside the box. Solary, for instance, is a movie where I get to see my colleagues do things they've never done before. Imagine Aina doing the evil thing and um, Tokwa Tedela doing the metrosexual thing, Arita Dominic being their carousel. Yeah, these are things that we don't really get to see all the time. So, yeah. Are there roles that you've ever said no to? And if not, is there a role or a character you would say absolutely no to? Um, as an actor, probably not. I always love to do the roles that are so far removed from who I am. So, uh, if I were to get the role of uh, a psychopath, I would just jump on it. <laughs> I would just jump on it. It's just fun to do things outside the box, you know, step away from the norm. Allowed in this world to call me Vison, <laughs> and he calls it with so much bizarre. Yeah. Vison, Vison, Vison. Now, Vison. They say no. Okay, no vex, no vex. It's, I'm so happy to see you. Um, I'm happy that you're now African like a calm down, 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 down. Now you have become a full-fledged actor, and I'm super proud of you. I'm Thank loving you. the roles that you play. Yes. But what role would you ever say no to? Anything that has nudity in it, they don't pay us that much here in this. Okay, part so of what the world. if the money was good and it was an international international um, gig? Only my bum bum. I want to show my pin pin. 
the bum bum I can show it for a good paycheck. But the pim pim stays inside the What is right? the pim pim though? The frontal area of the lower below the waist region. Okay, the elephant trunk. It's a family show. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> it's a family show, so let's keep it that way. Yeah. It's Mildred Oko and Rita Dominic, you know, forming alliance to start up a company that is doing absolutely well. I know, right? What do you think about that, knowing that you know them personally? I think it's great. I mean, Rita has the Midas touch. Whatever she touches uh, uh, turns to gold. So, um, I'm proud of them. I didn't expect anything less. I met Mildred through Rita, and the minute I saw, I, I met them together, in my head, I just said, this is, a, this is a revolution right here. This is the new, this is the future of Nollywood. Okay, so I saw the trailer of the movie and I was laughing so hard because this is a role that you've not played before. Yeah. People are used to seeing you in a certain type of way, but how did you bring yourself into the character to play it so well? Okay, I grew up in the eastern part of Nigeria. I grew up in Oweri. I had a few years growing up. So uh, when I read the character, uh, when I read the script, what, I asked myself, how am I going to do this? Because the director called to say, look, I know you can. You know, so there was already trust there. And I'm like, oh, look, I have to do this. Then ideas came to mind. I remember like three people at the same time. One happened to be so, uh, my mom's mechanic back in the day. I could, as I read this guy, I'm like, this is this guy. Then a neighbor of ours in a village back then when we used to go back home for Christmas holidays. And then I thought about my vessel, that's myself. I'm like, uh, with all this build, how do you break yourself down to be so ridiculous? I thought about Terry Crews, who I happen to be a big fan of. I'm like, if that guy can be that ridiculous, then of course, why not? Like, so those three uh, elements came together and uh, I built everything else around them. All right, so they say patience pays, and I've been patient waiting for this damsel to get on my spot so I can interview her. So she's here now and I'm sure it pays, like yay! Now, almost Sigo, that's your role in Surulere. I'm super proud of you because I saw the trailer and I'm like, yes, yeah, girl, kill it. So what was the experience like, um, you know, taking on that role and being the lead? It was an amazing experience. I've never worked with um, Auntie Mildred Oko before, so it was such a huge honor to work with her. And she really did bring out the best in me. And yeah, I just, I haven't seen the whole film, so I can't wait to see the whole film and, you know, just get to see more of the story and understand where we're going with it. <laughs> now, Beverly, do you speak your local dialect? I know you're British, but I mean, hey, do you speak your local dialect? I don't, but I can understand Igbo. I can say, like, maybe a few sentences in Igbo, but I can understand it. Okay. Would you like to translate patience pace in pigeon? Oh, in pigeon. Oh. How? <laughs> How? Um, um, make una way to. <laughs> Alright, so it's still the world premiere of Surulere, the movie, right here in Lagos, Nigeria. If you're not here, I'm sorry. Uh, but thank God you have me to, you know, take you around the red carpet. So stick around, we'll be right back. Hi guys, this is Beverly Naya, and I play the character Omosigo in the film Surulere. Make sure you guys go and watch it. Mwah. Kiss the Naya, love. Okay, so I was talking to Tokpe Tedela off camera about the character he played. Very interesting character. So tell me about this metrosexual character. I mean, Kyle, the character I play is, um, is metrosexual in Surulere. He's fashionable, he's effeminate, he's good at his job. He doesn't mind um, pissing on other people's work or um, making other people feel like crap as long as he gets the job done. He's that kind of guy. He's, you know, very all over the place, you know, all this kind of stuff. Yeah, so, I mean, that's what it is. Would you say that there are bits of this character in your personal trait? Not at all. I mean, I wish, I, well, I won't say I wish there was, but there isn't. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Which is why it was awesome to play and I've gotten quite a number of feedback about people wanting to see Sue Lyrics, who want to see me in it, you know that kind of thing. So I'm pretty, I'm excited about that. I mean, I, I feel honored about that, that I could do work that people want to see. But I'm also, on the other hand, a bit afraid that what if, you know, it wasn't right? What if this, what if that? But you just do what you do and you move ahead. I mean, I'm an artist, so yeah. This is a role that nobody has ever pulled off properly. Not to talk about you playing it. So did you feel awkward at any point trying to interpret this I role? Mean, initially, it was, I felt funny, really. Even during my rehearsal process and um, my family sort of saw what I was doing, they were wondering what the heck is wrong with Tokwe. 
but I mean, it's work. And um, what we just want to do is to be as believable as we can be in telling the story that we have to tell. So yeah, I mean, I, I surmounted all the challenges and I'm here and I'm hoping that, you know, people love it. Thank you that you've worked with uh, Mildred Oko before. What was your experience like working with such an amazing uh, filmmaker? It was, it was the beginning of, of everything for me. Everything, in fame, everything, art, everything, good work. Everything, love and passion for it because <laughs> it, art sort of like snapped me off the streets. But I, I grew in love with it as I worked and I'm so glad. There's a lot of, there's a lot of issues in the industry. You're just glad that you came in through a good door like Amy Dredoko's door because she's processed, she's grounded, she's disciplined, she's, she's very, very committed to what she does and, and I think that that's what's made me what I am today, my philosophy, approach to work, you know, professionalism, I think you can't be lazy around her. Alright, so the Audrey Silver Company has managed to bring from across the continent powerful women in the film industry and I'm standing next to the ultra amazing founder of the Africa International Film Festival, Choma Ude. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> I said to you earlier, you look like the African Anna Winter. I'm just missing the bangs and the short bob. And the stern look. No, no, you're not stern, so you can't... Oh, okay. <laughs> I know that you're personal friends of uh, both Mildred and Rita, and I'm sure you're super proud about this project. What do you think about the movie? You know, I, I, I've been with them the whole nine yards and it was supposed to be just a regular movie and then they let it out and people's comments started flowing in so it moved from just being regular to super fabulous I'm expecting a lot tonight I haven't seen it I've just seen the trailer yes, me too. yes. I, I know that Rita has not played a role like this before and I was laughing so hard so <laughs> what do you think the audience will uh, you know expect from you know one thing I don't know whether people know this Mildred is a clown she is hilarious, she is so funny. So I expect this to be very funny too. She's very, very funny. <laughs> it's true. Okay, so I'm standing next to Amara Chuku Ono, who happens to be a cast member of Suru Leri, and I love his interpretation of African glam. Oh my God, I love it. Tell me what you were thinking when you, you know, put this together. Um, I just decided to uh, showcase my, uh, my outfit, my traditional outfit. This is the entire Arochuku outfit. Sort of is a fusion of Cross River, Igbo, rivers. I love it. The, the Arochuku people, uh, they borrowed some culture from the Akwaibom and the Cross River people. Yeah, yeah, so we're together now. Yes, yeah, yeah, we're together, we're together. <laughs> okay, so what was the experience like playing uh, the role that you played in Suruleri? Uh, it, it was amazing. Um, Solomon, uh, Mildred will make you work as an actor. Whether, no matter the role you're playing, no matter how little or big it is, she will sap out all the juice in you as an actor. Uh, the first time I go on set, I was telling her, the first thing she asked me is, what do you think about your character? And I'm like, I froze for like two seconds and she gave me a lecture I won't forget. You know, you always must be prepared to meet Mildred. All right, so we've got Gregory Ojefua, who played the character of Mr. Brume. And at this point, I would like to curtsy and say, where well don't Sao? It's well with you, it's well with you. Okay, so Gregory, you played an amazing role. You interpreted the role pretty well. So what was the experience like, you know, working in this film? Um, it was interesting um, and it was very educative. Uh, a great learning process working with uh, Mildred Oko, uh, the actor director. She was able to comfortably take me out of my comfort zone, you know. She made me dig deep, go deeper than I've ever done and uh, made uh, a, a creation much different from that which people know. Everybody knows me as that funny guy, but here yeah, you get to say very me, wickedly. Do you ever at some point playing these roles, okay, playing this particular role, do you ever at some point say to yourself, this is not fair, I would never do this, I don't think I can play this role? Yes, I had that feeling many times on this set. Oh, I felt sorry for Arinze. I felt wicked. I felt oh, like, Brume is heartless, and the more I felt hatred for Brume, the better I got at being Brume. All right, so uh, since you are from Edo State, what's patience pays in your local dialect? My local dialect, Feke Loli. Feke Loli, oh ame. Feke Loli, oh ame. Some 
amazing stars on the red carpet and even spoken to some of the cast members and I am absolutely dazed by how talented these people are. In moments from now, we will be speaking to some amazing A-list acts. So if I were you, I would sit tight. Do not move. We'll be right back. a rare privilege to stand next to someone who I utterly adore and I admire. I know she's like, what is this girl talking about? But the brainchild <laughs> behind this movie that we're yet to see today, Mildred Oko. Look at her. This is the awesomeness that is Mildred Oko. Hello, darling. People are shocked at the synergy between yourself and Rita Dominic under the Audrey Silver Company. How did that come about? Why Rita? Because, um, first of all, Rita is a thinking person. I love thinking people, you know, because when you, when you dream, it happens. You, you, you can't be in this kind of business and not be a dreamer. And she saw my dreams, and I also saw her dreams, and we said to each other, let's try and do this. When we made this film, we said it was going to be small, we'll do a small, we wouldn't even do a premiere. But before you knew it, look at it, look at this. So we sort of think alike, we have sort of the same dreams. And one of the most important things is that both of us want to put Nollywood on a higher platform. We want people to know that this is where you can come and do serious business and that we are trying to get better. We want better quality films and we want to just be doing good business like other, other businesses in Nigeria. Okay, so Auntie Mildred, one last thing. In your dialect, please translate Suruleri. Hey! Yes. Uh, I know what it is. One girl in Bauzuku told me what it was. Oh, something. What's wrong with me? Ndidikama. <laughs> Ndidikama. Yes. Ndidi is patience. And patience is better. All right. Ndidikama. So she got it. Thumbs up for Auntie Millie. I am Mr. Brumer, the employee's worst nightmare. If you don't want me on your case, head to the nearest cinema and watch Suruleri. You, what are you staring at? Right, so we have the icon, the starlet, the stallion, the hotness. The amazing Rita Dominic of the Audrey Silver Company right here in flesh. I'm sure she's shocked. What an introduction, Vixen. <laughs> well, no. thank you. You're welcome. We're here to celebrate another product of the Audrey Silver Company. I'm super proud and you know honored to be a part of it. Tell me about this story and why it came to mind to produce. Um, to be honest, it didn't come to mind to produce. Um, when the director met the writer, he sent her the story. She liked the story. I read it as well. I liked the story because I felt like it was a, so a story about survival, about hope, about faith. And that um, is a story that a lot of Nigerians, especially Nigerians who live in Lagos, will be able to connect to, you know? So um, we decided to produce it and um, it was a good experience. And it looks like, I I I'm hoping, it's looking like um, that the you know people appreciate the film and they like the film. Now I've been asking everyone. Suruleri means patience pays in Yoruba, but how would you translate it in your local dialect? Hi, wait up. Ah, wait, are you kidding? Wait, hold on. Um, I uh, ah, oh, okay. It will probably be Oge Chukukama. I think I'm not sure. I think no, no. That's t God's time is the best. It's it can pass, please. It's okay. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so starstruck right now. I can't even look at him because he is like the lead of the movie we're here to premiere. Shun Ajayi. Can I get an autograph, please? Like here. Would you not do this right now? Okay, sorry. I'm 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 so glad to be here. You look beautiful. He's smooth too. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I was looking at you earlier, and I'm like, geez, he slayed the Agbada. Now tell me about this style. I know tonight is about African glam, but why did you pick this look? Um, this is this is like 
this is the Michael Jordan of Yoruba outfits, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like, um, and it's always complete with the hat. Uh, but this time, I decided to do a twist with the Hausa hat. Yeah, you know, so we're wearing Nigeria today, and you know, for everything I'm wearing here, from, from the, to the beads and the shoes, it's all Nigerian brands. Mildred Oko has an eye for fresh new talent. And look at you, you're brand new. And she's like, you know what, I will put you on. And look at you, you played that role so well. I saw the trailer, I'm like, I haven't seen this guy like this before. What was new about this role to you? Um, I think the first thing was not being me. It was interesting to play a character that's a bit, that's quite distant from who I really am. And to, to be honest, the best thing that happened to me was having Mildred Okwo as the director of this film because um, for, this, for creating this character, she started the work with me a month ahead of time, before the shoot. So, I mean, she would call me, have long conversations over the phone about the nuances of the character, where she wants it to go, and I would give my own ideas as well. And she's very open. So the back and forth was really good. We built chemistry as actor and director before we even showed up on set. Now, if so, you had the chance to do this, would you do it again? I heard you guys had to go deep into like the roots and stuff. Would you do it again? Over and over. Hi, my name is Shion Ajayi. I play Arinze, the lead male in Mildred Okwa's Suru Leri. I like to say, I loved it absolutely and I'm sure that when you see this film you would absolutely fall in love with all the characters, fall in love with the story. You know, take your friends, take your family, you guys go out, watch the film. I don't watch myself. I'm it's awkward. No. How much have I I'm sorry guys, like we were talking off camera about how we do not or I do not watch myself. So do you think it's awkward watching yourself play a role on TV? Yeah, sometimes I'm like Oh, you should have done that. Oh, this one is too much. Oh, this one. But then, you, you know what it does for me? It helps me get better. So I see it and I see, oh, this is acting for TV. This is a bit too much. I want to probably tune it down the next time. So I have improved just by watching myself. No, no, I just get cringy. Yeah, like, I'm like... Well, but you have to learn to mix in. So I know that you are Nigerian. And Nigerians, especially us young people, we don't speak our dialect that much. So Larry is Yoruba. Yeah. And it means patience, pace. Yeah. So what is patient pace in your language? Wait. <laughs> if I'm going to translate like Babatim, it means Ndidi Gakogwa. Ndidi Nakogwa. Yeah, Ndidi Nakogwa because pace in Igbo, yes. So I want to thank you all for coming to the premiere and I urge you, my Zamundans, my loyal Zamundans, to go to the cinemas and watch through Larry, have a laugh or two, tell your friends, take your loved ones, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your man friend, whoever friend, as long as there's love there, take them to go watch Suru Larry and thank you. for it's wonderful to have you here you were in the meeting and you were superb yes thank you yeah, this is another this is another Audrey Silver company uh, production and you're not in this one I am actually yeah, yeah I played cameo okay so tell me about it uh, it's it wasn't it was like Mildred called me and told me Linda I have a cameo for you. I, I, I just said, you know, I'm coming. When? When do you need me? Because it's like uh, my family calling me back to come do something with them. So the chemistry on set was energetic. I knew she, I knew what she wanted me to do. So it was fun all the way. Okay. Now I love your outfit because I mean today it's about Afro glam, and you interpreted it in a very chic and different way. Tell me why you picked this one. Uh, my sister, you know that is a very hard question you just asked. But I would say that it was. I just told my, yeah, I told my tailor that I wanted something chic and simple that I would be comfortable in. I don't have to be struggling myself and all that. So, yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have fun inside and yeah. I want to see your role, okay? Thank you. All right, Mike, it's a pleasure having you on the red carpet. As an actor who has done immensely well in the industry, what are you expecting from the interpretations of the actors in this film? 
know you're critical. Very. Yes. So. Good actors. Good. I, I, I want to see, because, you know, for me, as an actor, if you take away your clothes of you and wear the character and the viewer forgets his watching a movie, you have succeeded. And that is um, one of you know things I try to call my strengths. You know, I try as much as possible to make you forget. So that is what I'm looking for, and which I know Real Dread, she's, she's, she's one of my, you know, I'm her client, so I know Real Dread. Hello, my name is Mildred Okwa. I am the producer director of the film Suruleri. Thank you so much for coming out to the premiere. Please go to the cinemas and watch it. It's out February 12th. Today, go out and watch it. It's fun. Thank you. All right, so it's been my absolute pleasure bringing to you fantastic moments from the red carpet of the worldwide premiere of Surinari right here in Lagos, Nigeria. I've had the best time with the best stars, and I hope you enjoyed watching this. It's a wrap from me right now, but we are about to go into the main auditorium to finally see the movie. See you guys. <laughs>